kind of reshaping it. All right, now, in three, where's my camera? Three, two, one. Mr. Ian fucking straight, a.k.a. the great and terrifying Dracolo. Coming out with uh, your newest album. Talk to me. Spiritual, Spiritual Predator comes out December 1st. December 1st. Merry motherfucking Christmas. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah, 13 yeah. tracks. 13, huh? Nice. Nice. It's going to be good. I'm assuming it's a Christmas album for the family. <laughs> I mean, Jesus and God are in it, so yeah, I guess so. Yeah, those of you that don't know, which by now, if you watch this, if Ian has been my, uh, well, he's been my boss, so I met him. He's one of my very good friends now. He's also my only client for Dyerson Productions, other than myself. And, uh, yeah, man. So, just doing this stupid little thing here, so I'll make it quick. But my questions are, and I have two of them for you, um, to disappoint you, neither of them involve little people. Uh, what is something you look forward to doing after the pandemic that you may have kind of taken for granted before? That's my question. Deep, right? For me, I think that um, it's mostly I, I, I'm a window shopper. I like to look at things and I like to do it in person. Um, I like to be able to physically see it and see like, everything else and then I'll research stuff online and go back and shop, but I can't do that. And I haven't been able to do that. And half the time I don't purchase, but it's like, it's one of those weird things that I like to do and I haven't really been able to do it. Man, you know, that's, yeah. Yeah, so you just want to be able to wander around the mall again or check shit yeah, out, going, pick them up. Or going to a music store and just like look at every single item and read the little book that they put with it. And oh. I'll do that with everything. I'm like one of those guys. That was, that was always a nightmare for me because I never had any money. They're like, we'll do a layaway plan. I'm like, oh, I already laid all the way my money to my Coke dealer. <laughs> 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 Sorry, man. I owe him way, like most of my paycheck. I'm not even paying rent this month. Um, I'm a horrible person. Hey, uh, that's a good one. That's a good one. All right, cool. I love it because so far both answers haven't been something I, I would think of. These are personal things to people, you know, little the little tiny things that make up the whole, you know. Yeah, I mean, for the quarantine, for the most part, it doesn't bother me because I don't really like people anyway. So word, but there's like little things that I like to do that kind of require things to be open. And that's one of them. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Peep shows. I get you. Dude. <laughs> Dracalo! Right. Fucking what album number is this, dude? I should know this. I'm your producer. Right, so the fourth one is coming out in the. Hold on, where do I point? And right here. This this was a true life story. Uh, this possum viciously attacked Ian in his front yard <laughs> and while he was in his underwear. Uh, and the only way he could kill it was to uh, beat it off with his penis. And, uh, <laughs> and we asked Ian, why would you use your penis? And he was all, it was the only decent sized weapon in the yard. So <laughs> that's what happened. And it became an album cover. But uh, it's called what again? Spiritual Predator. Yes, the, just with the, having the little possum dead in it. It was beautiful. Like, because you originally. I've got a yeah, I've had a lot of comments on off Instagram about it. Like people are like, "Dude, that's such a great art album cover." It's so, it's so fucking black metal, dude. It's so black metal. I mean, I know, I know, you kind of got away from the the black metal love. Uh... Next question, my man. Uh, something, if anything, positive that you've uh, taken from these days of hell, or anything cool, or say any. Thing, anything you've come to terms with or anything like that? Uh, um, <laughs> I can think of one thing myself for you. Really? I'm trying to think of something. Um, I guess for me, to the sky. I, I think for me, the... Um, the biggest thing that, like, and this whole situation has kind of opened my eyes to people and, and just, uh, 
I mean, I always, I always knew deep down, like there's certain people I, I'm friends with, but I, just, I didn't really agree with them. And now it's like I see that contrast. I'm able just to see like, wow, they really don't care about others like at all. And it kind of, I don't know, just put that into perspective for me. That that's one thing. And then the other thing was, well, I don't know. Okay, the one thing I think came from this is Dracalo. You had plenty of time to get it on, but no, it's very polarizing lately, huh? And then they're like, oh, I can't believe you just unfriend me or, you know, not like me because of my views. I'm like, Fuck that it's a dumb thing to say, man. Our views are what makes us like each other, our shared interests. And debating stuff and having different interests, there's usually still a common uh, thread, like, you know, yeah. humanity or something. But it hasn't been that way. I mean... I just well, I don't really view what they're arguing as a view. I, I, it's, it's like a different viewpoint would be you saying, hey, I really like wood modeling. And I'm like, no, I really like plastic modeling, and this is why. That's a different viewpoint. you're fucking stupid. Everybody knows wood modeling's better. I'm fucking <laughs> started on your ignorance. No, but, you know, it's like, and to me, that's different than saying, Hey, cops beating on people is okay. Oh, well, it's it's not okay. You know, I, I, we're not going Any to human that being that up. doesn't judge somebody by their merits, you know, if you're a piece of shit, you're a piece of shit. You have to do something to be a piece of shit. If your sexual preference or the color of your skin makes you a piece of shit, then I don't see how that actions make the human being who they are not. Well, thank you for playing. Hopefully this right second part sounds awesome because I like this because it's not in my fucking face. All right. Who knows that? Yeah, it's a fucking fact. Why can't we all just get a bong? Yeah. Well, good. Well, that's positive ish, I guess. Learning, I'm, learning I mean, that 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 humanity sucks. Uh, <laughs> I feel. I don't know. I mean, that's... The positive in it for me is I know who to like invest my time in, and yeah. and now not to who invest my time in. That's cool. Right, that was Ian Straight, a.k.a. motherfucking Dracalo. My good buddy, and bandmate, and used to be my boss, and helped me out a lot when I was down, and I love that guy. And uh, for such a negative motherfucker, I think that was fairly positive. So thanks, thanks, Ian. Right, 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 right. I'm not a power tripper at all, I swear, I am. All right, what are we talking about? Okay, so today I just, I'm trying to lighten the mood a little bit to people and give them some hope in this time of absolute bullshit, which is very good for me, creatively speaking, but very depressing in every other single aspect of life. But silver linings and whatnot being what they are. Uh, I, I was just gonna ask one question, but I kind of came up with two. So you could either answer both of them or pick one. So there's that. Just something, what would you like to do after the pandemic? When it ends, what's the first thing that you want to get back to? Like, you know, just what what that would make you feel normal again, I guess. I really want to go to the library and just spend all day reading books. I have no plan on checking out because I check out like 30 at a time. The librarians are like, that girl. Yeah, but yeah. I do like to just go in the library and chill with the library people because they're very interesting people in the library. I just like to say hashtag the library people. I, I don't want to, <laughs> you know, what do you mean by the, those library people? You know, no, like the, okay, the library people are just like a, this group of random people. You have like the really super old people doing the senior coloring, which is really fun. Sometimes Norman and I jump in there and it's really cute because like a little old lady will be like, look at my coloring book. It'll be like all curse words. It was like the highlight of her day to show uh. me this. And then I show her my coloring book, which is the beauty of horror and zombies and stuff. And so sometimes she makes friends with the old people. And then you have, you know, the little kids who are just in there looking at me like, I'm like, no, I'm most definitely a witch. <laughs> yeah. Huh. And then you meet non-English speakers, you meet homeless people, you meet really strange people who just can't connect with other people, so they chill in the library like me. I'm one of those people. That is absolutely the dopest answer I can even think of. Not even something I would even think of. That, that thing, uh, and that's also... Uh, bittersweet in the way that it is, you know, something that people don't even know is that that's the library. People. I'm gonna write a whole song. About the library. <laughs> that would be awesome, and I would totally buy it. It will happen. Uh, no, just just buy the T-shirts. That's all. I'm <laughs> the songs have never made me music in my entire life. They made me a lot of Jaeger monster.
That is epic. I like that answer, dude. Oh my god, that is just a little mix of everybody. And, 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 and the library does definitely have a certain vibe. Now that you, now that you actually said that, I kind of want to go hang out in the library. You like, totally should. It's yeah. where all the best sh happened. Huh. Well, that was a thing. Okay. My lame library joke. <laughs> There are no such thing as lame jokes. Only lame jokes. <laughs> People always tell me I talk too fast. I'm like, well, you're not listening fast enough. All right. Well, okay. Well, here's the second question. And it was, if there is anything positive that you have taken from these days, these nightmarish days of hell, you know, anything out of it, any perspective or anything like that? Um, actually, there really has been a really awesome development Um since we're all stuck inside, I've really gotten to know my kid on like a human level, not like on a parent child level, just as a human. And you know, it's really been great, I think, for me as well as him because, you know, a lot of times we're just so go, 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 or you're like stuck in the, why the fuck would you do that? And you know, why didn't you do this? But, you know, getting to spend time with him and just learning what he likes and he likes all the shit that I used to like because they were just fucking awesome. He's like a little anarchist, he's up there tagging stuff, you know, riding his, <laughs> riding his skateboard. But he's really fucking smart and he's really funny. So like he'll say some shit and then he'll be like, uh, that was my mom, I shouldn't have said that and I'll start laughing. Yeah, and that's then you hard. Know, he gets to Well, I like to laugh because he gets to see me as a human and I get to see him as a human. You know, just and that so, first transition when your kids start saying shit that cracks you up, and you're like <laughs> fighting that struggle, like you're like, yes. no, no, all right, dude, that was good. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's great. Yeah, he seems like a cool kid. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's pretty, pretty rad. He has his moments. He's getting a mustache now, which is yeah, oh god, kind of hard Creepy. for me. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, that's that's a good one. That's some of the stuff I, you know, I was wishing. I hope a bunch of people are looking towards is that there is. Uh, you know, there's some opportunities to realize that life could make some changes. We could, you know, just switch up some patterns and stuff and bring back together more of the community than this fucking freaky ass, scary ass high mind thing that's going on. I have no guarantees on the release, but I will tag you on Facebook, of course, and all of that good stuff. And this was awesome. You're an awesome human being. And uh, stay sane. And, uh, you know, this is all going to end one way or another. And everybody's all, all right. stressed out about shit, but life, life's been fucking with us since the dawn of time. So. Absolutely. freaking Lily. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, I'll talk to you later, Dennis. Yes, thank you for doing this. This is awesome. I appreciate it. All right. Bye. Have a good one. Stay safe. Bye. And that was awesome. That was Lex, as in Lex Luthor, Sparks, and she's an old school Eagle River in Birchwood, Peter Creek, including a. I never know exactly which part of that segment, but she's one of us. So thank you for doing that. That was cool. All right. Rat loves you all. Stay positive, you negative fucks. On again. Yeah, I'm going to cut it. Look how gray it is. Yeah, it's fine. Look how gray my beard is. I love. Yeah. I'm just like my mom. Beautiful. All right. Da -da 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 -da. So what are your questions? Oh, well, oh, that's that, now that I've managed to trick you to do this, this might just turn into a full interview. So, you were born in... <laughs> so, you're my mom. Best mommy in the whole wide world. The Madre El Diablo. The, uh, the woman that made me the charming son of a bitch that I am to these days. Dash with a little bit of Ron Reed to make me a negative little bastard. Um... But so I've got a couple questions for everybody because mom, my mama taught me that, you know, life is what you fucking make of it. You could cry about it, but you got to get up and just go. And even if you are broken, you don't let anybody else know that and you break. Oh, that was just all hot water. Now I'm getting comfortable. All right. Ask me whatever you want. You can ask me anything. <laughs> Who was my ask real father? Was it an alien? Maybe. Yeah, good. That'd be a much better answer. All right. So check it out. My first question from my beautiful, fucking amazing mother. Okay, Dennis, stop swearing at your mom. Um, what is something you look forward to doing after the pandemic? Or when we get to a point where we can travel around and just be... Oh, come see my grandkids down south and you. Yeah. And uh, go see my sister Joy, wherever oh, yeah. she is. 
If she's in England, I will fly to England. If have, she's have you ever been the, have you ever been out of the country? Uh uh. No, me neither. No, I've never even been in Canada. Mm. I was uh, my cell phone switched while I was across from Canada with Katie on one of our adventures, and all of a sudden it's all says "Welcome to Canada." But because of my child support, I'm like, "What? What? What? I'm not in Canada. No. I am not in fucking Canada, bro." I like start stepping back from it. it was, I was like, "No, oi, eh?" That's all I want. All I want to do is see my grandchildren and hug them and Katie and you. Of course, of number course. one, uno, 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 and uh, then I might go with Connie to uh, Utah to see her family because they love me now. Well, that would be cool too. Utah is an interesting place. I went through there on our little road trip, and uh, it's beautiful <laughs> in its own way. Just don't just wear boots, you know. Uh, scorpions can't get through leather. <laughs> well, she's in a town, so. But we're gonna go gambling, and and her. Uh, oh yeah. shit! What? The ones, but having you on is a bonus, dude. You're a superstar in the world of rock because people are like, just like, like, is his mother okay. real? Does nobody could have done this on purpose? <laughs> well, that was a good answer, and we miss you, and we can't wait for that to happen too. Yep. So, Second question: If there's ooh. something, if anything positive that you have taken from these days of hell, from the pandemic, any, you know, realizations or, uh, what's up, buddy? Insight? Oh, you know, yeah, any insight. Oh, that's a good word. That's the word I was fucking looking for. There you go. Well, see, that's why you have me. Um, insight is don't take my family for granted. I mean, I could have gone out to summers a thousand times last summer. Not this summer, summer before. Did I? No. And uh, Meadow doesn't even really know who I am. She knows kind of, sort of, but she confuses me with other people, and that's very sad. Oh. But that, taking for granted that I would could go there anytime. I've got a vehicle. Not knowing how shitty it was, shout out to you and your friend. Uh, for getting uh, Scott Harris. God Harris. Who beard yeah. beard shamed me, which is why I'm not shaving. The motherfucker's oh, like, okay. oh, you call that a beard? I'm like, but have you seen the Harris boys' beards? They're like the fucking dwarfs yeah. off of the Hobbit, dude. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Their beards are just like whole other people they carry around and detach that have shields. That's beautiful too, and that's what I that's what I'm hoping that we all take from this. Unfortunately, we seem to be just not. But like. Like, they got the disaster movies wrong. They need to make all disaster movies in, like, a three-part series where the first part's, like, everybody disagrees and everything just falls the fuck apart. And then the second part of the disaster movie is, like, some people begrudgingly start helping each other out just so that they can get back to their own lives. And then in the third part, everybody dies anyways. Cause... Everybody dies. Well, we're all going to die anyway, so you know Well, yeah, yeah, that. no, no, no. That's a, a joke I wrote the other day. Like, at least I got one thing in common with every human being I've ever met. We were both born, and we're both going to die. Well, those are both great answers. And, yeah, and I think I think a lot of change is going to come from this, I hope, in a positive way. A lot of people are finding that they're a lot more productive when they don't have to deal with I mean, like... The whole, like, driving 40 miles to work and through traffic, and that's part of how you start every day, and the coffee lady makes the wrong coffee, and you go into this office, and you hate two of your co-workers. Oh, there's Fred again. Fucking, uh, fucking touching the fucking... Yeah, you know, and you just, you get all broken, so... Uh, you know, see, yeah. people like you and I, we do all right on our owns anyways, but I remember at the very beginning of this thing, you said something that I think summed it up for a lot of people. And what you said was, it's like, look, I don't care. I don't like going anywhere anyways, but don't tell me I can't go somewhere. Yeah, that's the, well, what I miss is going into secondhand stores and just shopping around. That's what Ian's was. Ian's was, he's like, I like shopping, but I like going and browsing. And then I look up the info online and he's like, I really miss that. We two here and keep it up. Yeah, I'll see you soon. There's going to be vaccines. I'll take all of them just to see yeah. if they work. I don't care. I'm already fucked up. Everything else, I'm bringing my dog and I'm staying as long as I want down there. And I'm going to see people. I want to see Joy. Yeah, you and deserve it. Go on a little trip, man. Why the fuck not? So that works out. 
All right. Well, thank you very much, Mom. I love you. This was awesome. Well, sorry. You got to stop moving the camera around. We're going to have to get you stationary. Oh, don't mind. Um, what? You don't look at... Okay. I, need, I need a selfie. Oops. That wasn't fun. <laughs> <laughs> laughing at me. Stop laughing at No, you're adorable. <laughs> I'm a newbie. I'm not, I'm not used to... You, you're, the funny thing is, you're a newbie rocking one of the most powerful fucking cell phones on planet Earth. <laughs> oh, it's so terrifying to watch you do that. Oh. All right, Mama. I'm going to kill this. I got okay. a couple more to make. Those are good answers. I love you. You're beautiful. You're awesome. Thank you for everything. That thing's getting tall again, damn it. You, you chop up and kidnap children, don't you, and feed it to your plants. <laughs> Seymour. Feed right. me, Seymour. Little fuckers. They don't deserve to live. Oh, okay. We're going to edit that out. All righty then. <laughs> Bye, out of me. Without right. Yeah. Adios. 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 Bye, Mommy. I love you. I love you, too. Bye. Dude, that was perfect. That was my mom, folks. That was that was good. I uh, She got she, she got all dressed up. I've been trying to get her to do anything, but you know. She's a very beautiful woman, and uh, very awesome human being. Because now I'll be able to get her to do a full interview. So yeah, thanks, mom. That was cool. Good answers too. Yeah, you know, this is so far every answer's been real touching. Kind of, I like it. I expected more touching from me. You don't know the struggle, man. <laughs> the struggle is real. All right, can you still hear me all right? I can hear you. All right, dude, I'm going to turn that up a little bit, and I can hear you great. Fuck, the headphones make all the difference in the world. All right, and three. Fuck yeah. All right. Oh, we're doing hoodies? Hold on. I didn't know we were being cool. Put your glasses on. It just makes you look like you're really too stoned to know what the fuck you're talking about when you take them off. You're all like, what? <laughs> Well, I can't see you start looking the wrong way from the camera. Yeah, no, man, I'm telling you. All right. I don't know why I have any friends at all. I look ridiculous in my hoodie, my beard. I'm thinking about, I need to let it grow, but it's at that annoying phase where it's like going out. <laughs> Plus the mask is constantly... Yeah. Thankfully, I'm a narcissist, so I can sit there for hours and edit down all this shit, and, but even I eventually get... Oh, you, oh, you vape? Is that vape or is that weed? It is not weed. It's a pineapple grapefruit. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, dude. I, uh, other than my, my, dis I despise pineapple. Like in all of its forms. <laughs> like in all of its forms. I don't know why. I even hated SpongeBob because he lived in a pineapple. And I thought that was inappropriate. It's the most vicious well, of fruits. I'm pretty hater of you. SpongeBob yeah. is amazing. Oh, don't, don't get me. Don't, don't get me. Oh, I love SpongeBob. <laughs> He's a cook. But I would never, as a cook, live in a pineapple. But I would eat it on my pizza. So that's weird. You just said you hate all pineapple. You can't have it on pizza. You can't be in and out. You got to be all in or all out. Okay, I'm going to edit all that out. So. <laughs> we're trying to pretend like you're not smoking on camera. You look ridiculous. Just enjoy your cigarette, Mom. It's okay. When people see you smoking, they're going to be like, why is this 40-year-old lady smoking? Doesn't she know this? <laughs> like, you know, you look, you look great. Yeah. What, what, uh, honestly, I know I'm, I'm supposed to be doing this interview, but it's a trip now. All the kids, they're f seeing you. Thanks, Thanks for, for listening. listening. This, this is been a Dinosaur Production. The YouTube features are all on its own. Stay insane. Listen to the metal. Listen to the metal.